Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. If you think that I can help you out, hit the like button and subscribe. Now, I know it has been a few weeks since my last episode, and that's because I'm finding it a bit more challenging grilling with a broken leg than I first imagined. But I've quickly learned that in order to succeed, I've had to simplify these recipes as well as simplify my video setup. Today's recipe fulfills all those criteria, and that recipe is for grilled watermelon on the cube. That's right, grilled watermelon. It's doable, and I'll show you how. To begin, you're going to want to cut your watermelon into slices like so, being sure to leave the rind on. If it's easier for you, you can often find watermelon pre-cut this way for you in the supermarket. Preparing watermelon for the grill is simple. First, start with about a tablespoon or two of olive oil and pour that into a small dish or ramekin. Next up, add the zest and the juice of one whole lime. Once that's in there, grab a fork or a chopstick and whisk that all together. And that's it. Now grab your watermelon slices as well as a basting brush and baste that oil and lime mixture on each surface of your watermelon slices. The oil, of course, will help prevent this fruit from sticking to the grill once we head on out there. And the lime zest and juice? Well, that's for flavor. The acidity, sweet, and citrusy notes of the lime really complement grilled watermelon very nicely. Anyways, once you've basted this oil on all your watermelon slices, it's time to head on out to the grill. Today, I'm cooking on my Weber Q1200, and it has been preheated to a medium heat, and the grates have been thoroughly scraped clean. So now, all I gotta do is take my watermelon slices and lay them directly on the grill grates. Depending on what size Weber Q you have, you might run out of real estate real quickly because watermelon can be quite huge. Rearrange these slices as best you can. It can sometimes be a little bit of a puzzle getting all your slices on board. When all is said and done, I'm gonna be able to load nine slices on my Weber Baby Q. You'll be able to load slightly more on the Q2000 series and the Q3000 series. Anyways, shut the lid and let these cook at a medium heat for about two minutes. And after two minutes, you're going to give all your watermelon slices a turn and you'll see they will develop some really nice looking grill marks like so. You're going to want to duplicate this caramelization on the second side. So after flipping, let these cook for two more minutes. And that's it. After four minutes of total cooking time, pull them off the grill and then garnish them with whatever toppings you like. Today, I'm adding some roughly chopped mint to the top of my watermelon slices, and I've also sprinkled on some pink sea salt. You could go and play around with your seasonings. I've heard of people even putting barbecue rub on grilled watermelon, but for me, salt and mint will do. Now, ignoring that power sander in the background, it's time to try this out. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It is really, really good. I think most people would not expect to grill a watermelon, but the grilling process does something very interesting to this fruit. One, it really concentrates and caramelizes the sugar. I didn't add anything to this watermelon, but it just seems so much sweeter than natural watermelon. The mint and the salt that I added also really help to accentuate the flavors. Definitely give this a shot if you have the opportunity. This is a great side or dessert on its own, but I can see it working really well in a fresh summer salad. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on trying out this recipe, because you really should. And of course, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, as always, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Bye now.